Thank you for staying with us. We're still here talking about the Shoaris situation, his continued incarceration. I still have my guest with me. Uh, before we went on that break, we're talking about your reaction to uh, Michael Zakome, a senior advocate of Nigeria, saying that the case, the new charges, is dead on arrival. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, as regards uh, uh, Michael Zakome, SAN's uh, comments on the Shoaris incarceration, on the case of showing incarceration being dead on arrival. Well, um, from my own point of view, I would say some of the charges in the which are, is being alleged by the state that uh, Shorey committed are charges which are laughable. I would say they are laughable because, say for example, an insult to the president. I mean, if you're a public officer, you're, you're already out there. There is, I don't think, I don't think that should constitute an offense because people would definitely would throw one or two words which we wouldn't you know, which wouldn't go well with your personality. But then again, under the law, any offense that is not is unknown to the law is not, is not, a, it's not an offense. So l insulting the president is not an offense. So on that particular charge, I believe it's, it's that particular charge would not fly. Also, on the other charges, uh, treasonable felony. I mean, treasonable felony. Uh, these offenses are very, very, you know, difficult to, to you know, very, very difficult to, to plead and uh, um, get, uh, get conviction for. I mean, it's because it's a very weighty, of, it's a very weighty um, offense, and the allegation is so, it's so heavy that you really need to prove it. If not, somebody's life, somebody's uh, perhaps career, somebody's future is in their jeopardy. So, uh, on, until I see the charges, until I see the, the ingredients of the charges of those offenses, I will be able to say whether these are actually. This, I, I, I would be able to, you know... All of them are dead on arrival. Exactly, to, to kind of point out whether all the charges are, 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 dead, of, are, are dead on arrival. So the money laundering, uh, I think money laundering is, uh, is yeah, uh, part, of it. part of the charges. Yeah. So on the issue of the money laundering, I, I mean, under the, under, the, under, the money laund under the Act, so it says that uh, anyone that gives or collects uh, uh, right. any, amount of, uh, any amount of money above 500,000 Naira, uh, without you know uh, consummating the transaction to a financial institution commits money laundry. So I would, if if that is actually the case, then perhaps most people in the country might might, might, might fall short of that offense. So I wouldn't I wouldn't really think so. But like I said earlier on, until I see you know the ingredients okay. of the charges, would I be able to give my hundred percent opinion on that? I would say that the Michael's document will always want to deceive Shawori because maybe he wants some of his legal fees paid. But he's, the, not, he's not the only he has, lawyer. He has also, has. He, well, he has deceived a lot of people. He's a good lawyer. I respect him. At the same time, when he, when he, you see, there is not this class of lawyers. One pro uh, cut on political lines. And the other one, anti this party, pro this party, or this government, anti this party. And well, but let's I'm not coming. look. Let's no, not I'm look coming. I'm coming. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'd rather, so Mr. He, Wilkers, so, no, so, just to interrupt you, I'd rather we look at the issues, yes. not at the leanings, I political know, I leanings. Know. I'm sure. The conversation well, me, on the in this let me premise. Also, is, let me also say that mm -hmm. if some other person, God forbid, maybe um, a, a Fashola or an Amechi was charged, in this May, will he speak that, that way? That is where I'm going. But let me say, let me say this: You don't come up as a lawyer, as a son, that you've not gone to court to see the ingredients and to see the evidence that used by uh, the prosecution, and you say it's dead on arrival. Look, what lawyers like Ozokome does is technicalities. They don't want to go. How many cases have gone on trial? Why do you have similar judgment? It's because of technicalities. They look the guys and the guys and the guys, and a case will last four or five years in the court, and it does not finish trial. All so, right, let, let, so why, so why I want those cases to be dead on arrival? Because let me sympathize with Shawere again publicly, that his own people, his elders, and Serap and Ozokame and Co will have called him to order before the date of his proposed. Uh, revolution uh, now. Revolution and order. Okay, I'm talking. To order. We, we, I'm talking. And we then have now he has gone to this level. Let let uh, Ozokame go to court. Pick up the charges at the first show. All right. Uh, on, on final thoughts, I'm yeah. told we have less than uh, two minutes to go. Um, a senator, Sheo Sani, has come up to say that this situation with Shawere is putting a strain on the human rights record of this uh, present government. Let's not forget that Shawere is not the only one that's incarcerated. Yes. Some journalists are being detained yes. and they have yet to be, you know, given their day Dead in court. court. Let so me say this. Say. Let so, um, okay, could Let you me say this. In yes. one minute yes. and you one yes. minute, Yes, quickly. Please. During the first 
time of this government, I don't think anybody will say his right, his freedom was a breach in any way. I don't think anybody. There's no political prisoner in Nigeria. I don't think anybody was arrested or any newspaper house uh, or uh, uh, any house, media house, attacked or broke down. I, I can't remember. If it happens, maybe because of NCC problem with maybe a media house and all that. So nobody's right has been fridged. Showwood went around this country campaigning for election. Nobody talked to Showwood. Nobody infringed on his right. Showwood woke up one day and so Showwood standing and look, I sympathize with Showwood. Sincerely. But at the same time, my legacy is to the state. Right, if he has a case to answer within the state, sincerely let him go and have his day in court and get his name cleared and let Your Nigeria final move thought, forward. Please, okay, so my final thought on this is that uh, in as much as I believe, I believe that um, no one, everyone is presumed innocent until uh, being proven guilty at, at the court of law. So I would, I would, I would say that uh, Trevor has been already charged, as we have seen. The court should take it cause. But however, like I would say, you know, um, Nigerians are a bit, uh, a bit uh, intention now in the, as regards what the court will bring out. Because most people are like, oh, will the court give adequate judgment? Will the court not give adequate considering the considering that we the, have, yeah. exactly, and considering the fact that so you know some quarters have this uh, kind of mindset about you know the government not being uh, a respecter for for rule of law. And from my own point of view, I would just say the court should you know show away and and the state should go to court and try it out. But then again, this is our country. We, okay I still we still believe we still believe in the you know supremacy. Of, of the law and still believe in our courts. All right, Just to ask him, we're, let his lawyers, no, let his lawyers help of... him better by not using technicalities to delay his trial. All right, let them try you. the case expeditiously and dispose it of. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for it's, you know, it's always my sharing pleasure. your thoughts it's my with pleasure. us on the program. Thank you very much for having me. All right, me. we go on a short break, and when we come back, we will take this conversation to the next level. Just stay with us. <laughs> 